Hello, I'm if you extra can. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is a series I run on the channel where I ask and answer some of the very biggest Minecraft questions that you might have about the game. And today I want to tackle a pretty huge question, and that one is to do with what is the rarest mob in Minecraft. I know most people don't encounter rare mobs very often, first of all, because they're rare, so of course you don't. But second of all, I know that a lot of people haven't found two of the brand new mob variants added in Minecraft 1.8. Despite the update having come out literally two weeks ago now, uh, a lot of people haven't seen the mobs, and I know that because I've Googled both and I've seen one spotting of one of these two brand new mob variants, but I haven't seen a single one of the other, so odds are you haven't even heard about this mob, let alone seen it in your Minecraft world, and there is a rare variant of that mob which is the brand new rarest mob in Minecraft. So in today's video I'll be telling you exactly how rare this is, because believe me, it's absurdly rare, but first of all, please do like this video if you do like it, because it helps out the channel, and listen, you do like the math craft, and all the calculations etc that goes into it. So with that said, let's dive into the start of the video, which is to do with a mob you should be familiar with, because for the last few years now, on any Minecraft edition, you should be able to find chicken jockeys in a fairly rare circumstance. So the way these work is baby zombies have a 5% chance of spawning themselves and then a 5% chance of that baby zombie to spawn in a chicken to ride on. But a fact you might not know is that baby zombies also have an extra 5% chance of spawning on any nearby chickens if one is within a certain block radius of them. So this is interesting because it sounds about the same, like you get a chicken jockey at the end that's kind of terrifying, it can chase you, it can control the chicken, it can do some scary things, but also it means that there is a chance that baby zombies will ride existing chickens. However, on console edition and on bedrock edition, it's not just the chickens they can ride, you can also sometimes have a rare chance of a baby zombie spawning on a nearby sheep, which is kind of wild. A small chance for a baby zombie spawning on a nearby cow, or spawning on a nearby pig, or spawning on a nearby horse even, which is one of my funnier favorite examples, but also donkeys, also mules, also wolves, also ocelots, also spiders. I know that a lot of people haven't seen this, because in my no-hitting run of Minecraft I uploaded recently, I saw one of these, and a lot of people, that was their first sighting. So yeah, I know most people don't run across most of these mobs on a daily basis, so if you've never seen mob jockeys before, there a pretty wild thing. Baby zombies can ride pretty much any mob, including adult zombies and zombie villagers, <laughs> as you can see right here, including husks, including cave spiders, including mushrooms. But a fun fact is that the 1.8 uh, update, the cats and pandas update, which has come out for bedrock already and is coming out for Java soon, also means there are two brand new mobs in the game which will spawn naturally, which also have a chance of baby zombies riding them. So you can now get fully grown cats which have a baby zombie riding them, which is kind of a weird thing in my opinion. Like, just, just look at this and tell me you don't think that's weird. Um, but you can also find, uh, weirdly enough, the rare mob of the two, because although cats are somewhat hard to find in Minecraft, especially in their untamed state, they're only found around villages, the only mob that's been giving people more issues in finding them is of course the fact that you can find pandas only in jungles and only in rare circumstances. And this means Although in our case, our panda jockey has apparently split into a floating baby zombie, which is just falling through the floor, and a panda, you can sometimes find a panda jockey if it doesn't, again, have the thing glitching through the floor. So this is something which is incredibly rare to find. Again, literally one sighting of this I've seen anywhere, anywhere on the internet, despite the fact that there is over 60 million uh, Minecraft Bedrock players. I think it's approaching on 100 million, actually. But there is a huge number of people playing Minecraft Bedrock, but none of them have uh, seemed to have found this, or at least shared anywhere yet. And it is the fact that you can find pandas which spawn with baby zombies on top of them. So uh, obviously, uh, this isn't the most uh, perfectly refined mob. You can even see when the panda sits up, the baby zombie doesn't, so he just kind of absorbs the whole thing. But you can find a panda which is controlled by a baby zombie. So if you're curious as to how these mobs work, basically when the uh, you know the baby zombie doesn't spawn anything, the panda operates not like normally. However, the baby zombie can control the panda if he wants to run towards you, which is kind of a terrifying thing all in all. Because, I mean, how often do you have the situation where a panda is chasing towards you in Minecraft and he has a, oh, we're actually trapped ourselves in a cage here. There's a panda chasing towards you in Minecraft and he has a baby zombie uh, which is going to attack you when you go near him. Which, again, the baby zombie can't do too much to you. Like, I mean, this is basically nothing because I have resistance. But the fact that you can see that, like, wow, this is a real mob. Pandas are not just a friendly new mob they've added in Minecraft. It's also a real chance to get attacked in the game. And as you can see, it's happening to me quite badly right now. But yeah, it's just so confusing seeing like this adorable mob, he's, uh, he's sitting up and he really wants you to like hug him or like he's just, you know, sitting down doing some treats. But also at the same time, he's got a, you know, thing inside of him which can't attack you. And yeah, it's a super, super bizarre piece of behavior. It's super weird they coded it in. Honestly, a part of me wonders like, you know, does anyone even know about this on the Minecraft team? Like how many of them are familiar with? Like someone had to code this in to make this happen. But because it's such a rare chance, because you need to be in a jungle, you need to have a panda. And then there is a round at max, a 50 uh, 15% chance of a big 
baby zombie which does spawn to spawn on the panda and because it needs to be near the panda it just means the odds of finding this are super 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 rare so again to put that in perspective you need to be in a jungle which is you know not a very a common biome especially on bedrock you need to have pandas in lots of places then a five percent chance of a baby zombie spawning needs to go through another 15 percent chance and then needs to be within a certain distance of that panda to spawn so this is a super super rare mob by itself but what if we made things a little bit rare again what is the rarest mob combination you can find in minecraft and although a panda jockey is quite rare again we're talking about fractions of a fraction of a percent what is even worse than a fraction of a fraction of a percent is if you want to work out the odds of not just a panda spawning in minecraft but a brown panda spawning in minecraft with a, a mob jockey and to make things even rare let's say the rarest type of a uh, baby zombie which is a fully uh, you know enchanted armor surfeit because fun fact you might not know about is the fact that you can actually find as you've seen with my wolf over here you can find uh, baby mob jockeys which do spawn with armor on as well so what are the odds of finding an armor on zombie let's say full diamond armor with a weapon which can also happen on top of one of these mobs the most scary dangerous mob you can find in the game on top of the most adorable rare coincidence a brown neutral panda let's work it out right now so the odds of finding a brown panda in minecraft if you want it to be a particular variety because again it's what uh, depending on your version there is just brown uh, you know or white pandas or there's a uh, you know just a brown panda as a type of the panda but it's about a one in 600 chance is what we've calculated based on hand testing so there's about a one in 600 chance of finding a brown panda inside of a jungle so if you're in a jungle uh, already uh, there's a tiny chance that any panda spawning will be a brown panda so we're talking about one in 600 already which is already super super rare but then let's say that on top of that brown panda because the baby zombie spawns in which is a five percent chance then that five percent chance is added to a 15 percent chance so you have a baby zombie it happens to be a mob jockey but what are the odds that that mob jockey which again <laughs> those odds are already like 0.75 percent chance on top of uh, one in 600 already getting pretty rare you know 0.16 um but if we uh you know go a little bit rare on this what if we uh, go another step further and we say okay so the baby zombie needs to have a weapon so even at max chance difficulty you have about a one percent chance of a zombie spawning with a weapon in uh you know minecraft even once you've been in the area for as long as you can you've upped the regional difficulty to its max there's a one percent chance of that happening and then uh there is again at max a six percent a 15 percent chance of a zombie spawning with any armor and a 40 percent chance of a zombie with any armor spawning with a full set of armor so that gives us about a six percent chance of a zombie spawning with full armor on and uh you know an extra one percent chance of it spawning with a weapon so a weapon and some armor is already going super rare but then the odds of that armor being all diamond because you can find uh, different sets of armor like a diamond chest plate but a you know a gold helmet or a leather chest plate but a diamond helmet the odds of it being all diamond armor and all four bits of the baby zombie and again I, in my opinion it's kind of adorable but when you do get a baby zombie of armor he does happen to spawn with like you know miniaturized versions so here's a cute little leather helmet here's a cute little uh you know gold chest plate for instance but yeah what, the odds of it spawning with full uh, old armor pretty rare also it's spawning weapon already quite rare but if we add those super rare odds onto the odds of it being diamond which is about 0.04 percent then how about i just say that you know things pretty rare okay that's not good enough for you well basically you need to multiply what is already a 0.0012 percent chance of finding your brown uh you know mob jockey uh, by itself then you want to uh, multiply that by the odds of finding a set of full diamond armor and a weapon which is 0.0000 lots of knots and then two four percent as you can see on screen you multiply those two odds together and you know what you get a 0.0000000028% chance of finding a brown panda neutral mob jockey with full diamond armor and a weapon in minecraft which is absurd because although when you see it in lots of noughts it's like ah that's a lot of zero. Zero isn't very rare zero happens all the time but if you actually work out the inverse i.e if what is the odds uh you know one in what is the odds of finding this it's a one in three trillion four hundred and seventy two billion two hundred and twenty two million 222,222.2222 recurring of course and uh yeah that is just absurd to think to put that in perspective because like when you say big numbers like three one in three trillion chance what does that even mean well if you're in a jungle if we got every single uh, you know human on earth to go to their nearest jungle and they happen to spawn in uh, you know like 500 separate uh, you know pandas each 500 separate mobs uh, then the odds of this happening would still be very unlikely the odds are if every human was all playing minecraft at the same time and they were to for 500 pandas to spawn this would 
still not happen. You might find some baby zombies with a bit of armor, some baby zombies with some diamond armor, but the odds of it being a brown panda with the full diamond armor is that rare. And that is us being very generous in all of these odds. Because remember, the odds of a uh, you know baby zombie riding one of these things is about 0.7, you know, it's a one in, uh, you know, it's a 15% chance, uh, so a 0.75% chance of any zombie uh, spawning on there, etc. But this is already being quite generous because actual hand testing reveals odds a bit lower than this. If you consider the chance that finding a brown panda seems to be a lot rarer, most people have still never seen a brown panda. It's, and also considering the fact that like, we could have gone for full enchanted armor, which mo would multiply the odds by about a thousand. But if you want to just count pure armor, no enchantments, no specific weapon, just full armor, some form of weapon, some form of, uh, you know, brown panda in Minecraft, then yeah, you're gonna get about one in three trillion. And yeah, next time someone says like, oh, this mob's really rare, a, a pink sheep has like a one in, uh, you know, like a 580 chance of spawning or whatever they try to say to you. Remember, that, remind them that like, no, that's not the rarest mob in the game because this is a mob so rare that even the base variant, even the really common version, this is the most common type you can find, has been found literally once. Again, as far as I can tell, I've seen one of these anywhere on the internet, uh, you know, that's naturally spawning. Uh, given that one of the most common variants has been found, imagine the most rare variants, which is literally millions, of, or literally billions of times rarer to find. So yeah, remind, remind people of that next time they say something's rare, uh, that your odds of winning the lottery are so much higher than finding one of these that you just won't do it. And uh, maybe that encourages you to play the lottery. It shouldn't, I hope that's not your goal. But with that said, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope it taught you something about odds or maybe just about the panda jockeys. Maybe you just enjoyed seeing like, oh look, it really is a baby zombie riding a panda. Or maybe uh, if you aren't familiar, because I know a lot of people, this is their first time discovering it. Uh, maybe just seeing like a baby zombie on an ocelot or a baby zombie on a wolf. That's super cute and adorable to you. A fact that a lot of people don't know actually, is that when you do find, say, a cat jockey, for instance, you can tame the cat under the jockey without killing, uh, you know, said uh, baby zombie. It just means that the baby zombie will fall off. However, this is slightly different depending on each mob that you do run across. Also, I think he's gonna jump off the map, but this is slightly different depending on which mob you run across. But yeah, for instance, the cat, you can tame it and the zo zombie jockey will fall off. And although I would say not recommended because that's a rare thing, you can do it. That's one way to remove a uh, zombie's power, but you can also do the same thing with uh, wolves, for instance. But th yeah, and uh, the same thing will happen because it's tamed. But interestingly enough to me, at least, even though the wolf and even though the cat when, when you tame them, you lose the uh, jockey on top of them. Interesting, and you, by the way, you can't tame a uh, horse because you have to sit on it and the, the sitting spot is already filled by the zombie. Interestingly enough to me, at least, is the fact that you can take a cow jockey uh, or any other type of uh, tame jockey like this and you can actually breed the cow jockey at the same time. This is kind of wild that you can have a cow trying to breed being led by a baby zombie, but it's a real thing. I don't know how the baby zombie feels about watching that and, <laughs> you know, like two cows are making love and the baby zombie's just there like, I want to kill some people, maybe they're humans, but it is a very real thing that can happen all the time in Minecraft. And it's just super bizarre that one of the, uh, again, coolest Bedrock exclusives isn't very well known about, but it has so many weird ramifications. And hopefully this video kind of just made you realize that, yeah, actually, there's a lot of weird things you can do in Minecraft, and I didn't know about them till just now. So anyway, hope you did enjoy this Minecraft video. Let me know if you want to see more about Bedrock exclusives and stuff, because I know a lot of people who have subscribed to the channel recently haven't played Bedrock or don't play it very often, so they're shocked when they see stuff like, it's a zombie being ridden by a zombie? Is this a mod toy cat? Nope, it's just Bedrock edition Minecraft. It's really cool to see. I, I, I love seeing these exclusives. If you do too, though, you can like this video, let me know, and maybe leave a comment saying, I'd love to learn more about stuff like this, 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 actually this one, he's lost the zombie somehow, but this, 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 etc. Because I find it fascinating and maybe you do too. With that said though, I hope you do all enjoy this video. You can like it if you do like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're around here. Because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.